And for Texas, ball screen set for Madison Booker. Winner gets NC State in the Elite Eight. Texas controlling the chip tip. Here's Shaylee Gonzalez. And inside to Aaliyah Moore, who's coming back from that injury last year. She'll feed her new point guard, Madison Booker. Freshman season coming up. Madison Booker takes over for Harmon. Over to Ivan Ejo. Up and in for Brenna Maxwell, the Utah transfer. The dribble drive offense keeps the ball moving from side to side. Shay Holly, she'll take that road bounce. Wide open spaces for Kaylee Trong. Bay with the block. Gonzalez, the stop, drops in the shot. Booker, who was a freshman forward, to take over at the point guard position. It took her a little while to adjust, but she said now she has learned how to set her teammates up. She's got to be, but where everybody else is, and it's hard to be a point guard for Vic Schaefer. Yeah, no kidding. Lots of pressure, lots of demands. He expects him and his point guard to have the same brain. It's Madison Booker, two-time Mississippi Gatorade Player of the Year. Shea Holly, it's back to back threes now for Texas. Gonzalez and then Holly. Right now, Shaley Gonzalez is having to take over at that point position because Madison Booker has two fouls. Shot clock still on. Gonzalez has taken over at the point with Booker on the bench. Two fouls. And Aaliyah Moore just takes it to the rack. Three seconds, Gaston. High arcing shot. The Zags go not to first, second, third, but all the way sometimes to their fifth, fourth and fifth option. Shaley Gonzalez makes that look so easy. She Those two players you mentioned, they're going to be key offensively for Texas. And you see Gonzalez did not hesitate when she came. Madison Booker is on the bench right now for Texas with two fouls. She's only played seven minutes tonight. Bay with the steal and score. Texas flying around. Faye with the reach, the pick. And then the easy two on the other end. See how the ball screens, Texas bringing a hard hedge and the recover. There it is. Ball screen. So when you're hedging on the ball screen, keep an eye on Shea Holly there. She helps over. She doesn't need to. She's got to stay wide on the shooter and allow her guard defense to recover. But she can't come. Gonzalez going inside to Muhammad. Up off the window for Amina Muhammad. They've only made three field goals in this game. I think the rotation defensively for Texas has a lot to do with that. That's a great cut by Shea Holly. Priscilla Mall, the turnaround in the lane. Rebound by Amo, and one opportunity. Leah Moore battling down low to get offensive positioning, and then this is what she does best. See, that's where you, you get the ball to the post quickly. Then good things can happen. She found her teammate, Amina Muhammad. Shea Holly in the corner, swing! Look how far out Gonzaga's catching the ball to start their offense. Some great defense by Shea Holly to stop that. Shea Holly, the Austin, Texas native. That burnt orange is in her blood. Bucket underneath Deanna Gaston, fed by Aaliyah Moore. Orange. 
because she never gets, she never seems to get tired. She told us sometimes she's hiding the fact, but she just never stops with the energy. And the Longhorns get it right back. Mm, Madison Booker. Leah Moore back on the floor on the other side and the bucket there from Brenna Maxwell. A little more life has come to the Zags. Brenna Maxwell, just the third three-pointer today for Gonzaga. First, the confidence has come from the Zags. Maxwell off the ball screen. If you're late to get there, she's money. And then the bucket in transition by Kaylin Trong. They forced Texas into four turnovers in the Longhorns' last six possessions. Almost had another one. Gonzalez, the catch and shoot, the bucket. Quick with the trigger. She brought that from DePaul. She can shoot it. Got it over to her teammate, Brenna Maxwell, down low. They can get another stop. They can cut this thing into single digits. Gonzalez showing all her range. Free throw line, the three-point line, whatever Texas needs. Looking better in this third quarter. How have they changed it? Well, they picked up the intensity defensively. And then they've sped up offensively. Able to work around all three sides of the floor, too. That's something we didn't see much in the first half. Swatted away by Madison Booker underneath, up ahead to Gonzalez. Inside to Moore. Gonzalez, a little floater. And he's given them a little bit more freedom to, hey, if I tell you you got to be here at this time, you're at you're there at this time. Because he sees how hard they play. And Shay Holly. Ivan Ejim. Got to the third side. They were able to move it. They have handled this pressure a little bit better in the third quarter. And Ejim has gotten going. Yvonne Ejim, the conference player of the year. That puts her. We'll see how Texas adjusts on their next possession. Ejim up and in back to back. Jay Holly almost banked it in. And center teammate, Aaliyah Moore will. Come down the floor. You see how everybody spaced out. Trong pulls it back. Hollingsworth then has time to get her feet set and knock down. A good pass fake by Moore. Then she can go inside to five. The post inside, you got Lauren Betts. And a tangle with Angel Reese inside. That's a two for Shea Holly. Second quarter's only 18 total points in that first half. And having to do so with Madison Booker in some foul trouble. She's coming off a great performance against Alabama, 21 points in that second round win. Moore never giving up on the play. There's Madison Booker. And Texas used the entire half court. 
the attack and turning the corner strong to get the finish. A number one seed in the NCAA tournament, and they are back in the Elite Eight for the third time in four seasons under Vic Schaefer.